so i think going for more yards than more um ribbon is the best way to go in order for you to make profit so um and one thing with tutu it has to be fluffy like this for me to like it and people like it when it's fluffy so this i did not even like try to arrange it like how people usually do to get it to be more fluffy this is just sewing it and just letting it be the way it is it fell exactly how you know it wants to fall because it's so fluffy it can Yo, whew. cutting is something that is um, can take a minute. Well, for cutting, it can take you a minute. It's very tiring when I have to be on the floor, like rolling and rolling and rolling. But trust me, that process is very, very important. So, um, since I'm done with that, uh, my next step is to create a channel. So, where the heck is my own? Hey guys, Merry Christmas. So, um, I will be, um, you guys saw um, the way I cut this um, tool. So, I am ready to start sewing. This is going to be a step-by-step -step process. And uh, I'm looking at my phone. I got a request from I cannot really pronounce the name. I'm sorry if I don't pronounce the name correctly. I am very bad with pronunciation, so we're not gonna go there. <laughs> but I'm gonna try. So N Where Madu Bright five eight thirty six. Um, she requested a step by step. Um, um step-by-step -step process for beginners so um, she is struggling um, I believe uh, from her question another question she asked um, she said well let me just read what she said she said um, is it folded into two or four so I'm gonna explain that for you in this video she said, please always show us step by step for the sake of beginners. I love you so much. Oh, I love you too, girl. Oh, is it a guy or girl? Thank you so much. I love all my subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. Um, and she asked another one for the ribbon. When you attach it, do you sew it up? So I'm going to do a step by step. This one is going to be step by step. I'm not going to rewind um, i mean i'm not gonna forward i'm just gonna make sure i give you guys what you ask for and um so that you guys oh you you so you craft so that you crafters i don't want to be using guys guys that's what i'm used to i'm not trying to say you're all guys but excuse me that's what i'm used to saying so when i say that so please uh, when i say that excuse me it's just what i'm used to so I'm going to make sure this is a step by step for you guys. So let's get into it. So this tutu, you guys already know, um, it is going to be um, 12 yards because my daughter's birthday is in two freaking days, y'all. So I have two um, tutu sets that I want to make. I'm trying to make a decision. So I have this purple here and this is, I believe, two two inches if I'm not mistaken where's my I gotta check this out I think it's two inches or 2.5 inches it's two inches 
and this other one too is let's see two inches so what I'm trying to do is for this purple I'm gonna use a pink and for the pink I'm gonna use a purple you, you feel me on that so that's what I'm about to do but before we get into all of this I am going to create the channel so um, I'm gonna start with the purple because I want to make sure my daughter get purple that she's asking for for me I wanted to go for the pink and use a purple but she's still requesting for purple I'm like girl so I'm just gonna make the two of us she's gonna um, pick what she wants and this is going to be I made it 12 yards and I already you guys already know I'm just repeating myself I'm sorry about that so I am gonna go ahead um, and make sure I use a purple thread and I got my ribbon I have to um, fill it up with some more thread I have a pink for this pink here so whenever you are making your tutu make sure you get the thread that you are supposed to get for the tutu so your girl is so tired but I gotta say make it happen because this is my child we're talking about here so you want to also save this um, this is what is left you always want to save it because you're gonna definitely use it for another project if you guys um, Have not seen the video where I showed you guys where I made a tutu um, For a three to six month old baby and that was with scraps like this. Do they call it scraps? I'm not really sure but um, I used something like this to make that for a uh, less than one year old baby so you can definitely make that so that's why you don't throw this away because you may have like a, a little baby that you have to make two to four so I'm gonna save this for any projects like that <laughs> alright let's try it again oh goodness alright So I'm gonna save this. It's so it's so thick. That's the reason why it kind of broke, because it's 12 freaking yards. I always do 10 yards, but I want it to be so fluffy for my daughter. So that's why I'm going for 12 yards. But you know, the 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 longer the tutu is, the less fluffy it's gonna be, in my opinion. So that's in order for you to gain the fluff, when I mean fluff, the Tinkerbell kind of look, um, in order for you to get that, you should increase your your tutu, your your yards. What am I saying? So I'm not sure if you guys really know. This is a step by step, so I'm gonna show you everything. Everything. I'm not gonna hold back at all. So I'm gonna show you how I make my thread and all of that so if you're not interested in this part just fast forward please fast forward fast forward fast forward but if you want to watch how I do this then let's do it together all right so this is um the one we're gonna be doing right now put this one up so this yard here as you can see when you get it is always folded into two and this is a two here you don't separate it when you're cutting it like measuring you don't separate it you still leave it the way it is because that's how you got it from the store this is two two piece in your hand that is folded this is the end part here so what you need to do is when creating a channel you will fold this into two that makes it four because when you count it it's gonna be one two Remember this is folded, you, you you still have to count that piece, each of the piece, because you can as well cut this part, but we're not going to cut it because it's just a waste of time. 
you the more is attached the better to handle so you don't want to cut this part so three and four so that makes it four so this is again when you get it from the store is fold it into two all you need to do is to fold this again and that makes it four so this here is 20 inches long that is for a 40 when folding it it's gonna turn into 10 inches long and that is what is um, that is a measurement for a 40 40 is 10 inches long so you always want to make sure it is so basically when whatever um whatever amounts whatever year the baby is they have their measurement and if it's um i have my little cheat sheet here if it's um uh 2t it is 16 inches so 16 inches with your tape will be let's say 16 it's gonna be somewhere here it's gonna be somewhere here somewhere here so 16 when you fold those that into two it's gonna be eight inches long for a 2t right yeah, for a 2T, when you fold it, it's going to be 8 inches long. So I hope you really understand me. So my daughter is 4. She's going to be 4 in 2 days. So that is 20 inches long. But when it's folded, it is 10 inches um, long. That is what um, you need for a 4T. And that will make it 4 piece in your hand. Do you guys understand me? I hope I'm really clear. So now, what I'm going to do is, to create a channel, you will fold it. It don't matter how you want to fold it, in or out, it don't matter. The, the fact is, it's being folded. So, you fold it. You stuck this underneath your chair, or your table, sorry. And now, you can work with it. So this is folded now. So you see that? I'm just folding the folded already. The folded pieces from the store, I'm still folding it so I can get four pieces in my hand. So that's all I'm doing. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start sewing my channel. So when sewing your channel, this when you fold it this part here so now you have this part you don't have to cut it leave it the way it is this part remember the one that is folded from the store is on this side of your hand so this part is your the part that will create your channel so you come here you place your pressure foot down just to hold it down so now um, you want to make sure that the this this amount of space you have here is gonna fit your band so I'm gonna grab a band I bought my band from Hobby Lobby I used to use a really bigger band I cannot believe I use this band it's so big but you can use bigger band I think I prefer this size I cannot remember the size but this is the size I prefer so this one is half of this actually I cannot remember the size so please don't ask me but make sure you measure your band make sure you look at your band to make sure it's gonna fit whatever you're saving for your channel I'm gonna bring you guys closer so you can really see you don't need to see my face I need you to see this so that you guys can really understand so you guys can get it Alright, so 
um so when you've determined the amount of um the inches that you have as band so now you start sewing your channel this is your foundation your foundation gotta be really good in order for your tutu to come out good so you want to make sure your foundation is really good so i have so what you need to do is you have to put this together make sure they are both aligned uh oh you guys are not seeing it okay better so you want to make sure this two this this all this piece are all aligned together you want to make sure they are all aligned you don't want them to have no wrinkle no nothing you want them you want everything to be straight so you want them to be hugging on each other basically so arrange it so what i usually do i arrange like this make sure i have my two side like this and start sewing so first of all you know the rules of sewing when you start it you have to do a backward stitch so we're gonna do a forward stitch first now we're gonna do a backward stitch so backward stitch you have to hold on to your knob i don't know what it depends on the kind of sewing machine you have you hold on to your knob i'm gonna hold on to it when you hold on to it you'll be able to do your backward stitch when you release it it's gonna come forward there we go now we can start sewing now we have locked that part so it's not gonna come off so you want to make sure you are holding on to this other side as well so it's well arranged so while you're doing it you have to be arranging so arrange so arrange so that's what i always do so that i can make sure my foundation is laid real good Hey guys, so this is the next day as you can tell. Um, I am going to finish this up. I have the, my eyes are so red. <laughs> Cause um, at the end of the day, this is like one, let me see actually. 1.47 a.m. Like that's crazy. My daughter's birthday is tomorrow, so. I gotta get her to to do tonight. So this is the the thread I'm gonna be using, and um, on this purple, and for the pink, I will be using this purple. So I'm gonna be doing uh, vice reverse. So 
my daughter really said she really wants a purple um tutu that's what she requested for and i already told you guys it was grace's corner she wants so i gotta make that happen so you guys already know when you cut your ribbon you want to make sure you heat it with your lighter that is to seal it so this is sealed all right so i'm just gonna drop this on the floor so you guys know already for those of you that don't know when you're sewing your tutu you always want to make sure when you're sewing your ribbon on your tutu you always want to make sure you have your pretty place down so i can tell this is the pretty place here so it's going to be the one that i'm going to put down i'm going to use my pressure foot to hold it in place and um, the foundation is already done so the foundation is what takes time when putting your ribbon it goes really fast so that part is my favorite putting ribbons but for this um for this tutu i am putting only one ribbon I'm not gonna put multiple ribbons like a lot of ribbons I always put like three but like I told you guys the more ribbons the more expensive the tutu is gonna be as far expensive in the sense that um, it's gonna be expensive for you so you want to cut down cost because regardless set of tutu um, the least I've seen um, you don't want to go too high, so $75 is ideal, $70, $75. If you want to, you know, hit the market real good, $70 is a good one. Pressure food. Um, back postage, that's what I was going to say, I said pressure food. Alright, so I'm going to just start sewing. When you're sewing, make sure you measure, you put your ribbon, um, your first ribbon that you're going to put pretty place down, make sure it is the same length as your tutu. Because you don't want it to be longer, because remember you already measured everything, so you want to make sure you it is um, the same length. And another thing I want to point out is, when sewing, you want to make sure it's on this side of the... Um, ribbon you don't want to do it on this side but on this other side I think you guys can see me better or see this better so when you're sewing your ribbon you want to sew on this side on your left hand side and not on your right hand side so your your channel that you created should be on this side when sewing your, your tutu so the loose ends are the, are the part that is going to be on your right hand side Hope that makes sense. It's the next day obviously as you can tell and um, I'm just gonna show you guys how um, the how I sewed it how we came out 
Well, first of all, um, I did not know that my camera was not recording. My my battery went down. I did not even know my my camera was not even working. I was talking to myself, obviously, and I got done with it. And at the end of the day, I ended up not showing you guys the end um, when I finished it up, but. It took me a minute because of course it's 12 yards you guys know already so that's gonna take a minute and it did take me a minute but it's over so it's time for me to uh, put my band okay waka and I go cut them out there waka they go that's my sister, of course. Yep. That's my sister. That's my house girl. That's my sister. That's my our maid. Oh, uh, her name is Ekaite. <laughs> but I, um, anyways, guys. So I'm gonna come closer so you guys can see how close I got this. You see, it's so I don't know if you guys can really see. Um, I, I'm pretty sure you guys cannot really see because I see. I'm not seeing that. I'm not seeing it real good on the camera. But I made it. I saw it so close, like super close. Look out here. This way it is. You guys cannot see it. So I made. Let me see if I can reduce the. So I made it so close that um, but I did not go out of the ribbon. That's how close it is. So. Um, let's see. So, the band that I'm going to be using is this size. Don't even ask me the size. I do not know because I already threw the pack off of it. I just eyeball and see what I want. Um, of course, um, I do not go for something little like this. I rather go for something big, big like this. And I do, I used to use this here. I have to put on my block so you guys can really see it. Come here. You guys did. I used I used to use something like this, but I, I think it's really chunky. So I decide to, when I saw this, I'm like, why didn't I see this all the, all the while? So I like this size. I don't know all the sizes by heart. I do not remember nothing. So, but um, the size for the waist for my daughter is gonna be 17 because it's 40. 40. The waist for 40, you have to use 17. Let me be sure because I have my cheat sheet on my right. <laughs> I have it on my wall so that like in front of my machine so that when I am sewing I can see all whatever sizes so I don't mess it up so 17 is here there we go this is 17 inches so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it did I keep my scissors found it <laughs> so this is gonna be my 17 cut it and I am done with this. So guys, I don't know if I said it already. My daughter's birthday is today. And um, I haven't completed her skirts. Obviously not. And I'm trying. Her birthday is going to be in two, in two, in three hours. Because this is like, no, this is three o'clock. Her birthday is in two hours. So I'm trying to get her outfit together i haven't done her shirts yet but um i i am gonna keep that simple so that's it's a good it's a good thing that um i can you know get i can sew my daughter's outfits i just i just feel blessed to be able to do that so of course you guys know i use my two pins on the on um, two and the two ends and i clip one on me so i don't lose it and now I'm gonna start running this through, but I can see some loose thread. Thread, so I am gonna go ahead and cut it because I don't wanna do too much cleanup. I like to do cleanup while I see it. Cleanup is when you, you know, cut all the threads, cut whatever needs to be cut, 
so you guys know for those of you that don't know you put this in the middle um, because remember this is folded so the middle is where you need to put it and run your thing through it so I did give this a good pinch let me see if you guys can really see it everything is just hard to see I'm not sure why maybe on me but anyways I give it a good pinch and I'm gonna run this through put it in, in the middle and just run it through It's just going to take me a minute, but this is the easiest step, in my opinion. This goes faster. So guys, I am done putting it together. You see how fluffy this thing is? So now I am going to go ahead and sew this band up. I was going to do it off of camera, but I'm like, it is step by step, beginner friendly. So you guys want to see everything. When he has to do it step by step, you don't want to, I don't want to skip nothing. So you guys can um, see the steps on how I make it. So let's get on to my my sewing machine so we can I can get this completed so let's do it alrighty so this is so fluffy y'all this is what I want so works 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 for me so I'm gonna go ahead and just sew this up so you guys notice this is I have my pink thread here I'm not changing it for this purple tutu I am gonna use a pink because it's not gonna show compared to when you use it on your ribbon so I'm just gonna go ahead so what I usually do is of course, you want to make sure your, your thread is all threaded up. And it is. You know what? This thing is fluffy, y'all. So, what I do, I just put them together. And of course, my thread is ready for me. And I, first of all, Sew it with regular stitches. I'm hoping you guys can really see me. Let me get it zoomed up. There we go. Alright, so I just put this two ends together. And I'm going to... This is the part I do not like, <laughs> I'll tell you the truth, because it seems easy, it seems it should be easy, but honey, it's not as easy as it look like, because the thread just don't like the band, or the needle just don't like the band, so I'm going to go real quick, sometimes it gets stuck, so Maybe you maybe it's it's gonna happen, I'm not sure, but let's see. So I'm gonna give a backward stitch so it's bring it back. Oh, this worked out good. So now I am gonna do a zigzag stitch. So I'm gonna switch this here, the knob. Let me see if you guys can really see it. So 
so I'm gonna switch the knob to zigzag stitch there are different kinds of zigzag up to you but I usually go for the number four this one here because it is like really spacious like it is a big zigzag so I make sure it does align to this here and it looks good so now I am gonna go ahead and sew It's so hard to show you guys this while I'm doing it. All right, I did not take out the pressure foot. So now I'm gonna go ahead and sew. Perfect, now I'm gonna do a backward stitch on it. And this is flawlessly done, thank God. And if you know you cannot deal with it, you can sew it with your hand so this is how it look like this is how it came out so I'm just gonna cut this part that is flabby and just cut it out and that is good now so I'm gonna go ahead and sew these two ends together so of course you do not have to worry about this opening here do not worry about this here all you need to worry about is from this part here excuse my nails are so, my nails are so terrible no hard time to do nothing because of Christmas orders a lot of order, orders birthdays I have my son's birthday in two days as well so I'm a busy mama so I haven't had time for me so I'm gonna be only worry about from this end here where I got this sewn vertically uh, horizontally. That's a part I'm gonna have to worry from this part to this part. Whoa, this is so awesome, mommy. Thank you. You are welcome, baby. I'm so proud of you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You're here. So pretty. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. So now I'm just, you see what I just did? I just flipped it. So you don't want, you want to sew it to be um, on this end, not in the mm -hmm. part here. Pretty sure you guys know. Somebody, I shut my door, please. Okay. But um, it's a step by step. So um, I'm sorry for just telling you things that you already know. I'm just trying to be detailed in this video. So that's all I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to. You know tell you what you already know so for those that actually don't really that really need this step by step um i hope this is gonna be helpful for you to take your business to the next level all right i'm gonna raise this up make sure my thread is ready for me and I'm gonna go ahead and start sewing. I do like to sew from why am I having problems? <laughs> so when sewing this part here, you wanna make sure you have all of the four one, two, three, four on this side and four on this side because you wanna make sure you capture everything. So it's gonna be eight in total four here four here you want to capture all of them together because um if you don't if it's hanging out you it's gonna ruin your tutu and you have to cut it out cut it and redo it so i can see you guys may not be able to see but i can see the ones that are shorter so you want to make sure you pay attention to the ones that are shorter because those are the ones you want to make sure that you grab with when sewing it so i'm gonna go ahead and that's sewing this it's so fluffy y'all this is 12 yards i know you guys already know but whew, i've never done 12 yards but um i'm like my daughter's birthday honey i'm giving her 12 yards so it's fluffy just like how i like it so make sure it's in the kissing position and drop your pressure foot down to hold it and now you can arrange this 
here. Arrange, arrange, arrange. Make sure you got your eight in your hand. If you guys need to repeat, repeat whatever you need to repeat in this video so you can get everything. Make sure this is in a kissing position because sometimes when I do it, I lose the one behind and I end up with one side longer than the other. So pressure foot, please hold it down for me. This pressure foot does a lot. For me at least. So I want to make sure I got all my eight in my hand. And I'm going to sew now. Mm. Oh, goodness. I always do this to myself. I forgot to switch this to a regular. I have it on. I forgot to switch this to regular. I have it on zigzag. <clears throat> It's so freaking annoying. I do this to myself every time. Why is it not moving? All right. Let's see if I actually got it because it's kind of stuck and I don't want to take this down. It's still on zigzag. Don't play with me. There we go. All right. Now let's sew. Do a back stitch so I sew. Now I use regular. The help. You guys don't be like me, please. I always forget and I end up with the, the beginning part as zigzag. <clears throat> guys this is how it came out you guys can see if this is something if this came out good all I ask for is a thumbs up so your girl could know it came out good I hope the step-by-step -step wasn't too long I tried but I told myself it gotta be step-by-step -step. it's gonna be a long video I'm not gonna um, edit I'm not gonna cut a lot I'm gonna give it to you guys what you asked for so this is it the pink one I am going to finish um, not today because I don't have the time for that one but um, that's something I'm gonna finish up and put on my website so in my opinion the more yards you use the fluffy is gonna be and the more beautiful is gonna be so so I think going for more yards than more um, ribbon is the best way to go in order for you to make profit so um, and one thing with tutu it has to be fluffy like this for me to like it and people like it when it's fluffy so this i did not even like try to arrange it like how people usually do to get it to be more fluffy this is just sewing it and just letting it be the way it is it fell exactly how you know it wants to fall because it's so fluffy it cannot help you but to fall this this way but when it's not a lot of material is gonna fall like this so you can see the difference this one I believe is eight yards I did not use that this was one of my first um tutu when I started I think this was my third or fourth or fifth tutu I can't remember that I started making and this was when I started seeing improvement but you can see it's not as fluffy as this you can can you see the difference you compare so this is 12 yards this is 8 yards so the more yards the more fluffy is gonna be and the more beautiful so you may wanna you know top you may wanna increase your yards so as to get um, so that it can be very very beautiful this one has two different um, what they call it two different ribbons and it costs more for me this one have one ribbon and okay this one have two ribbons and eight yards and it costs more for me to get this done 
this one have 12 yards in one ribbon this one costs less for me and guess what this one is the one that um, looks more fluffier you guys let me know in the comment section which of them you prefer the purple or the um, the black but anyways guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for hanging with me I gotta get my daughter's shirts uh, made so um, if you want to see the shirt I'm gonna use to pair up with this um, check out the next video or this video or it's gonna be in the description box I always say this video and I end up not putting the video up for you guys. I'm sorry about that But if you don't see the video up here, just check the description box I will definitely put the video there for you guys so you can see the the top I'm gonna use to pair this up with for my daughter So I cannot wait to see how my baby's gonna look But anyways, thank you so much for watching and thank you for hanging with me. It's a long video, but please um I, uh, please rewind if you need to rewind follow the step by step while you're sewing repeat and repeat and do whatever you need to do because I basically made this video for y'all because y'all asked for it that's why I give it to y'all so make sure you make use of this video rewind and rewind and forward do whatever you need to do so you can get it and when you got it all I need for you to do is to tell me in the comment section and I'll be happy that's just gonna make my day but anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button because your girl is going to be bringing out videos for you guys every week, Thursdays and Sunday. I am trying to keep on to the schedule, but Christmas time, I was a Sunday. I couldn't post because I was busy with Christmas and all of that stuff. But guess what? I'm back on track. So, um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. Hit the bell button so you can know each time I post a video. And do not forget to tell me what which of them you prefer between this 12 yards purple and this bumblebee black yard um, black black and eight yards let me know which of them you prefer but anyways guys thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video bye